Welcome back to On The Sticks, where we provide you with the information you need so you can spend more time on the sticks. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sticks. Thanks for stopping by. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming by and hanging out with us again. You know, recently we had the Video Game Awards, and I feel like this year, probably more so than any year, felt more just like another E3 press conference. They did have the typical awards that they normally have, but I feel like there was more of an emphasis on showing gameplay trailers and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I kind of felt feel like I wish it was more of an emphasis on the actual award since it is supposed to be a game award show, you know, but I understand it's a big event, a big chance to get eyes on new games and upcoming games and updates for games. So I know companies probably spend a lot of marketing dollars on the the ad times for this stuff right here so I'm, I'm not mad at it you know it's just another conference you know to end the year it's almost like e3 part two and with e3 this past year not being that good to a lot of people i'm sure folks really welcome this as another e3 press conference and in my opinion this was probably better than all of the e3 press conferences off the top of my head without a, a recency <laughs> bias. I can't even really remember what I was showing at E3 this past year. And uh, especially what was actually games coming up. I feel like, well, technically these games might not even be coming up, but you know, they're coming out next year. We're already at next year, so you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I know it was kind of hyped up. Game Awards, that is, was kind of hyped up to have a, a lot of big announcements big level announcements. I don't know if there were a lot of big announcements, but there there were a couple. But I guess it just depends on what you consider as big. I know later throughout the week, I'm actually gonna have some more videos actually going into deep, deep dives or more in detail conversations about the games I actually am kind of intrigued by or interested in. But this video right here is just going over a general list of games that were either announced, revealed, or just have like some updated content coming to them. Let me know down below in the comments how you guys felt about the Game Awards this year. Is there not enough emphasis on the awards or you don't really care about the awards and you're happy it's just mostly game trailers. So I think in between the pre-show and the actual awards, they showed, I know they showed over 40 games where there's something new that hasn't been shown before or like updates for things we already knew about over 40 it's probably 50 they probably showed 50 games you know from the time of the pre-show to the end of the actual awards i know the the actual awards kicked off with the expanse game and so apparently that's a tv show i've never heard of the tv show but it's coming from telltale and deck nine so you can pretty much figure out what kind of game you're getting with that it did look interesting but you know sorry it's gonna be story heavy Probably a lot of decision making in it. We've seen some Babylon's Fall. I can't remember if we already had a release date for it, but it's going March 3rd. I think we already had the release date. And uh, after their play testing that they had, I tried to get into the play testing. For, for some reason, I could not log into the game at all. So if that's a sign of what's coming for this game, I'm, I'm worried about it. I know a lot of people was not impressed by what they played of the, the play test. A lot of people just said it was a, uh, I think it was kind of bland. It wasn't really much to it. Maybe it was just a, the slice of the play test. Maybe it was a bad play test. Maybe they should have added a little more to it. But I'm hoping that the game actually turns out good. Cause the first time they showed it, it was actually pretty interesting. But the more I see of it, I'm like, eh, I'll pass. Got some Shivery 2 updates. It was cool to see them doing the Christmas update on there with such a, a violent, bloody <laughs> bloody game showing uh the fighters throwing snowballs and stuff that was interesting yeah some monster hunter rise sunbreak dlc shown coming i think it was the summer coming up in the summer so monster hunter fans i know they're thirsty for that new content update a lot of folks pretty much saying it's a dead game i guess it probably is if you're pretty much done everything on there since the game came out it is a dead game to you but I'm sure this Sunbreaker, the Sunbreak expansion will bring people back to the game. Probably even bring some new players to the game. We had a game called Thirsty Suitors. I thought it looked super weird, but in a good way. And the humor in it was pretty good. So that's something to look forward to 
uh, Evil West, have a nice death, Planet of Lana, a new Persona for Arena fighting game with uh, the Persona 25th anniversary, I think it is going on. The celebration going on, a lot of Persona news dropping here and there. I know folks really just waiting for the new game to be announced in the, the mainline series, as well as possibly getting Persona 5 ported to the Switch. And a lot of folks waiting on that. Hellblade 2 was shown. We finally got some actual gameplay shown for it. Even though the gameplay looks more like cinematic, something you would see in a cinematic for the game. They're saying it's all gameplay. So, you know, next gen games are trying to blur that, that line between what's gameplay and what's cinematic. So if that was actual gameplay looking like that, that's crazy. They showed Senua fighting something that you would see on Attack on Titan. <laughs> it was a crazy fight. So I don't think I'll be personally checking out Hellblade, but if that's what the gameplay actually looks like, I wouldn't mind seeing more about it. Even probably watch somebody play it on Twitch just because the gameplay looks absolutely crazy. We had a new Star Wars game reveal. I think it was Star Wars Eclipse and it's coming from Quantic Dream. So again, you kind of can get a feel for what kind of game it's gonna be from their previous works. Uh, Heavy Rain, Detroit Become Human games like that. You know, I think there's always been some murmurs of a new Star Wars game focused on the High Republic. So I, I assume this is what folks have been hearing about, just wasn't sure exactly what it would be. And I wanna say there was some kind of talk about the devs uh, being upset with some folks or something like that. I'll have to look into that some more. We got shown a Wonder Woman game. Didn't expect that. It looked pretty good though, from what they showed. We've seen some new Horizon Forbidden West stuff. You know a lot of folks looking forward to Horizon Forbidden West. I haven't played the first game in the series. I probably won't play the second game in the series. It's just something that doesn't speak to me. But shout out to all the folks that like Horizon. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Remake coming to the Epic Games Store, I think later this week if i'm not mistaken yeah coming to the epic game store later this week no folks gonna be upset about that not being on steam and just being on the epic game store and i already seen folks upset about the pricing for the game i think it's listed as 70 bucks for part one you know i don't think pc games have one up to 70 bucks until now or maybe it might have been some but i know square enix is starting to list their pc versions of their games for 70 and of course people are upset about that per usual. <laughs> Destiny 2, the Witch King, Witch Queen DLC got shown and I like the little the little trailer they showed for it. I thought it was very interesting. The gameplay they showed for it looked interesting. As somebody who played the hell out of Destiny 1 and really didn't get into Destiny 2 like that, it does make me want to play, but I know <laughs> I'm gonna have to start from the beginning. I don't know if it's gonna be that good to make me want to get in from the beginning and check it out, but I hope it is good. And I hope all the people that still playing Destiny 2 love it. Had a game called Slitherhead. Well, what else we had? Nightingale. They show something else from the Gollum game. One super interesting thing I thought was shown was PUBG going free to play. I'm sure a lot of people consider it a super dead game. You know, it was one of the original Battle Royale games before everything had a Battle Royale mode. You know, everything that's came after it that's been more successful was free. Like Fortnite and Warzone. So maybe with it going free to play now, it can have some kind of resurgence. I don't really know if it can <laughs> be as successful as the other games are, the com competitors are, but I'm sure it going free to play will get some folks playing it again. It shows Somerville. We finally seen some of the Cuphead D Delicious Last Course DLC, which I thought <laughs> was already out. I didn't even realize it wasn't out yet. Feel like they've been teasing that forever and i feel like this was a surprise i know earlier in the show they showed the trailer for the next sonic movie and then they came back and showed the trailer for the next sonic game sonic frontiers look like it could be an open world sonic game i would be very interested to uh see what that could look like an open world sonic game as long as they put chow raisin in it i'll be with it <laughs> then we had tachia breath of the <laughs> tachia I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not all the way sure to cheer, but it definitely looked like a Breath of the Wild game for kids. 
that's what it reminded me of but i think it looks cool as a a vibrant art style cartoony art style but if you watched it you instantly thought it was a, a breath of the wild clone with the stamina bar stamina meter while the uh, the character was climbing the glider all that and then we got some uh suicide squad gameplay and it kind of remind me of sunset overdrive and uh, I had tweeted making a joke saying this already looks better than Marvel Avengers. <laughs> I know the last time they showed a trailer for the Suicide Squad game, I was kind of worried. It was funny, but I wasn't too sure how the gameplay was going to be. But from what they showed with this, I'm feeling a little more, a little more intrigued by it to see what it ends up being. We got some more for for spoken trailers. And I still don't know how I feel about Forspoken. I'm sure it's going to be a solid game. It's Square Enix. And this is the kind of game that they make. You know, it puts me in the mind frame of any of their other JRPGs or whatever, whether it's Final Fantasy or whatever. I feel like Square just makes that kind of game. That's their, that's their wheelhouse. And I feel like Forspoken will fall into their wheelhouse for better or for worse. It might just be another Square game or it might stick out to folks. Who knows? Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2. I've never played a Warhammer game, but the trailer they showed for Space Marines 2 had me feeling like this is something I might need to play. <laughs> Saints Row got some new footage. Still don't know how I feel about Saints Row getting the reboot. I'm hoping it does good. I felt like the original Saints Row was fine. I felt like 2 was fine. I like both of those, but I felt like once they started going super into the the wackiness the aliens the superpowers all that type of stuff and i didn't really like it anymore it well not as much as i did with one and two i think it should get back more grounded towards one and two even though i know the extra stuff is what made it stand out from gta and that's what made it into its own thing i want it to be more grounded but you know saints row gonna do what saints row want to do and i think didn't it get delayed i think Saints Row got delayed or something like that. Let me know down below in the comments. We're seeing something called Dune Spice World, which I'm not surprised that uh, we're seeing more more stuff being done with Dune with its with it with its renewed interest with the new movie. You know, a lot of people are becoming interested in Dune and things about Dune. So to see some kind of game come from it, not surprised. But then I was super excited when I seen some. Tiny Tina Wonderland stuff happening. You know, looking forward to that next year. Probably one of my most anticipated games coming out next year. If not my most anticipated game, I would have to sit down and see what all is scheduled to come out next year. But yeah, got some Tiny Tina info. That was cool. We had Among Us in VR. I feel like that could be interesting. I haven't played Among Us since like it first came out it was cool i think we played it for like five or six hours on my birthday stream one year on twitch when it first came out and uh i didn't really see the the need to go back to it i just felt like it's nothing nothing to work towards it's a fun game to play with people but i need something i'm playing towards you know something to unlock some kind of trophy something so maybe it being on like playstation will make me want to play it you know, I'm a sucker for them PlayStation trophies. <laughs> we got a Telltale Star Trek game. I've never had the interest in playing a Star Trek game, but I have faith in Telltale. So if they put their their hands on it, I'll check it out just off of them. We got shown a game from Epic called Rumbleverse. And to me, it just looks like Fortnite, but melee based. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if it's a, another successful game for them in the Battle Royale realm i would not be surprised we got the sequel to plague's tale i did not play the first game probably won't play the second game shout outs to anybody that rocks with plague's tale <laughs> the second game does look good though then we show we were shown some dying light 2 info i think it was just a story trailer and i'm like geez can can any more be shown from dying light i feel like they're always showing something from dying light 2 at any kind of gaming event every chance they get is more dying like it's guaranteed to be something dying like related there so hopefully they hit this launch date no more delays nothing like that i think they had a story saying they had went gold but i'm not all the way sure 
then they showed a uh, crossfire x i don't know if you're too familiar with this game but i want to say they've had like some open betas or maybe some closed betas for like the multiplayer and it didn't do so hot review wise or impression wise but i think now that folks have gotten the latest call of duty and the latest battlefield game and neither of those are really doing super well a game like crossfire x could come out and win some people over with a good campaign and if they tune up that multiplayer i think it has a chance to make some things happen and then we got announcement for gtfo leaving early access or entering early access i think it was leaving early access but i swear this game was already out gtfo i swear i've been seeing a lot about it forever i thought it been on game pass i, I just thought the game already been out i could be wrong they showed a trailer for the upcoming halo show from paramount plus i'm not sure what the show is going to be about i'm not even sure if i'm actually going to watch the show i'm not the biggest halo fan in the world but i am currently well i was previously playing through all the halo games and i'm still on halo 2 if i'm not mistaken and i do plan on getting back in them and I do want to check out Halo Infinite, but I told myself I'm not going to play it until I get through the other games, most likely. They showed a new Elden Ring trailer, and this trailer, this time, focused more so on the story of Elden Ring instead of, like, gameplay and stuff like that, you know? I'm low-key surprised they showed anything Elden Ring related. You know, the game's out in February, if I'm not mistaken, February, with a whole bunch of other games out in February. But we probably will see a little more about it next month. They'll probably show some more stuff about it, most likely. I've seen an ad <laughs> during the awards. I guess it's part of the actual awards for a game called Synced Off Planet. And I, I think that looked kind of cool. I'm going to look more into that. And then we got shown this new game called Art Raiders. That joint looked crazy. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> and the last thing i seen on the awards, I don't know if they showed anything else after this, but the... Uh, Matrix Awakens, Unreal Engine 5, that demo thing. I actually have a video up for that already. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure you go check that out. But uh, it's another instance of them looking to blur that, that line between what's a cinematic and what's gameplay in upcoming games. And after playing it, I can tell you they, they did a good job of blurring that line. It's ridiculous what's actually gameplay in that tech demo when you consider what a cinematic usually looks like in a game the gameplay looks like a cinematic it's crazy and it's probably only possible on next gen hardware this is that's why the tech demo is only available on ps5 and xbox series x i'm not sure if it's on s or not but yeah that was uh pretty much all the games shown at the game awards this year i might have missed a couple if i did let me know down below in the comments i do my best to have a list of games down there below too let me know what you guys felt about the games they they showed uh what were your favorites what were disappointments were there anything you was hoping they was they were going to show and they didn't show you know things like that but yeah be on the lookout for more detailed videos later in the week from the games that really stood out to me and if there's a game you guys want me to do a video about let me know down below in the comments as well and i do my best to drop a, a video for you about that game hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe comment share it with your friends and be sure to check back daily for more content from on the sticks thanks